Okay, so we're gonna get this de-weeded exactly like I showed you guys before in the last several videos. Straightforward and easy. We're just gonna use our Indian home here. <laughs> Indian home, Indian home. I'm just gonna get these guys scooped up from under the roots. And just get them kind of pulled up out of there. Ground cover is good for maintaining soil moisture. So if we're gonna be doing a more traditional spray type or top style irrigation system, then I'll definitely keep the ground cover on, just mow it down to keep it short. But because we're doing a targeted high efficiency drip system, we generally don't need this in the way because we're not gonna have a problem with erosion or soil wash off. We're just a steady, slow drip system that's gonna just keep it moist right where we need it to be. So the rest of this can go, so we don't have it all tangling up, especially with these climbing vegetables. Because those are gonna need to be set up on trellises and stuff, so they can grow nice and clean. We can get our get our crops. But over winter, we're gonna have ground cover that we're gonna plant in after the last fall harvest, and let that kind of take care of the soil during the rainy season to not only protect it from erosion, but also to kind of be able to plow under condition it a little bit and give us some biologic material back in there to help hold in some moisture a little better. So when you're doing this, you kind of go flat against the ground with just a slight downward angle to kind of get underneath and scoop and pull up the roots. And there you go, makes it super efficient. Now you see OF girls, now that is how you properly do hoeing. <laughs> see how pliable that hose gets now after it's been in the sun for a little bit. Bug off. Bugs in biology here. Right down there. Get down to the base of the plant without covering over the leaves here. Put it underneath the leaves. Cucumbers. <laughs> we got some little pickles going here. 